Hi everyone, I'm Tanishka and today, this is uh, being filmed when the moon is in Scorpio, surprise, surprise, I'm uh, feeling to speak about power. <laughs> power is uh, one of the lessons that really comes up for us, it's illuminated if you will, um, and often evoked through a catalyst situation when the moon is moving through Scorpio. So, um, I had an experience this morning where I um, needed to open a conversation uh, with a man in a position of external power and he, uh, when I started to speak, he laughed at me and he mocked me and he said, oh, I love it when women want to talk serious. And I just took a moment and maintained my center and just said, yes, I need to speak my truth. Um, and in that moment, I did not give away my personal power. And I just, you know, there are so many moments um, in a day where we have that opportunity to either stand in our power or to give it away. And that's something that I'm getting better with with age. Um, I, I know as a young woman, I would often put myself down using humor, or if somebody else put me down, then I would join in with them, okay, in being self-deprecating, laughing at myself. And, you know, if someone is diminishing your light, if they are diminishing your right to shine, your power, yeah, our light is our power source, then we do ourselves a great disservice, a great injustice if we collude with the bully, okay, with somebody who ultimately um, is probably completely unaware of their behaviour um, and do it because, you know, they don't feel strong in their own light. So, you know, one of the other ways that women in particular are diminished in our culture is referring to us as girls. <laughs> now, um, you know, I'm going to be 48 this year, so really doesn't apply. <laughs> and I think, um, you know, whether we say, oh, girls night or um, the guys and girls, I mean, we don't apply the term boy, um, you know, to men. Uh, we might say guys, but uh, you will often hear the term girls. Yeah, I'm going out with the girls or the girls are coming over um, or hey girls, come over here. And um, this is a term of diminishment, okay, because there is power in menstruation. There is power in fertility. There is power in going deep within and rebirthing your psyche with every menses. So it's up to us when somebody unconsciously <laughs> refers to us as a girl and we are in fact a woman of power that we simply say, um, you know, would you please use the term woman? Thank you, I'm an adult. You know, or whatever words feel appropriate for you but that you don't say nothing Okay, because the throat center is the second power chakra. So it's through swallowing our truth, yeah, in order to not create waves or to be amenable, um, you know, to be likable, that we, um, you know, this fear of being seen as a difficult woman, you know, which is simply a woman who is empowered enough to be authentic, to speak her feelings, to speak her thoughts, um, unafraid, yeah? And that is a huge reclamation right there. It's, you know, it's not about us waving placards in the street. It's about us embodying our personal power moment to moment when somebody who we encounter unconsciously minimizes us. So I hope that's of some value to you today. Uh, it may be synchronistic or timely, given that the moon is in Scorpio. But um, 
Yeah, the more we practice speaking up on our own behalf and just letting people know that we will not collude in diminishing our own power, the more we raise up the collective sisterhood um, and the status of women. So thanks for listening. Hope you're having a good day or a good evening wherever you are in the world. Blessings from Bali. Ciao.